and look at his child and say, ah, why, why did these children, how did I even allow these children come? And sometimes you feel guilty and you feel bad. It is the reality of weariness. Are we together now? Yes. House rent. They slash your salary by half. They increase your salary by, they increase your house rent by double. And you stand before your landlord and you don't know what to tell him. What sermon do I now preach to this man? My brothers and my sisters, let me tell you this. When believers become wary, we must sustain the intelligence on how to navigate. You are a man of God, you are anointed, but nobody is placing a demand on your grace. Hmm. You go to a crusade and finish preaching, you make an altar call after three hours of preaching and only two people stroll out. As though they are pitying you. They just stroll out and stand and you ask them to pray the salvation prayer, they don't even pray it. And you stand there, Lord, did you call me or what, what is, if you didn't call me, just tell me, I will politely look for something else to do. Men can be very, very weary. I remember one time, a particular gentleman was preparing for his, his marriage. And, um, you know, God will make a way, pushing things. And then a point got, he became kind. Apostle, I said, just, just push forward. There is grace. I mean, the finisher's anointing is a possibility in the kingdom. <laughs> but honestly speaking, he got to a point where it was about one week to the wedding. And uh, the bills were a mountain that were refusing to move. And everybody can prophesy and say, I saw your wedding happening already. But it's true in the realm of the spirit. But now the possibilities to make it happen in the physical realm didn't seem to be there. And up until four or so days, I remember having to call the gentleman and to encourage him and to say, look, don't worry, God is faithful. There is God that sits in the heavens. Many years ago, another gentleman was preparing for his marriage and three days to the wedding, he refused to go to the city where he would get married. Yes. I mean, he just had to just, Lord, I don't know what you would do with me, but it's three days to my marriage, there are bills. House rent. I've seen it squash people. Ministry. When you have a crowd of people, 5,000, 10,000, and then everything begins to go down, and you can barely have 500. What happens when these kinds of seasons come in your life? Praise the Lord. So weariness is a reality with all men and this is why we need strength. Now I have identified from scripture two major causes of weariness. Please pay attention. There are two major causes that can make believers, any individual to be weary. Number one, according to scripture, is hope deferred. Proverbs chapter 13, please, and verse 12. Give it to us, media. Let's hurry up. Hope deferred. The Bible says hope deferred makes the heart sick. But when the desire comes, it is a tree that can minister life. So one of the reasons why people can be exhausted, one of the reasons why people can be... Um, discouraged and broken is prolonged expectation listen very carefully hope deferred can literally make the heart the word heart there is spirit the bible says a man's spirit can break not just a human body if your body is broken the doctor can treat it if your soul is broken a therapist can psychologically manage you but when your spirit is broken the bible says no man is able to bear it are we together now hope deferred results that you expect in your life do not come you expected that at age 30 you would have built a house you expected that by the time you have four children you should be financially free you expected that by the time you are 10 years in ministry you should be established and have membership when hope is deferred it can torture the heart are we blessed the number one reason why believers get worried let me tell you this we are beings of results let me use you and we desire advancement everybody say advancement 
this gentleman there is an instinct in him to continue to make progress that means that this year or this month next year or next month there should be progress by the time an individual is caused whether by life or whatever it is to either retrograde or stagnate it is dangerous the bible says it can do something to you that no man can bear are, are we together now yes there are people who you know reach me and send me text messages and say apostle i am tired and frustrated i've been in ministry you know when this brother was sharing his testimony i sat back there and i was just nodding my head because it is painful when you tell people the call of god is upon your life and there are no results to testify results are powerful results validate many things among them that you are operating by laws correctly among them that you are in the will of god so when results when your life is barren of results it can do something to your heart hallelujah praise the lord i once prayed with a family that were trusting god for a miracle for their child they had a child but the child had a condition that was a very serious thorn in the flesh for the family very young boy i mean he could go wild and even injure his siblings very blessed man but that thing was just there and i remember when i wanted to pray for them and i was encouraging them um i closed my eyes to pray and then i opened my eyes and i saw the man still looking at me now you may laugh it's not unbelief it is what weariness can do to the spirit how many of you have gone to several men of god for prayer they've prayed and prophesied and said it is done and then the next time i see it here sometimes when i'm praying for people on the queue oh lord i pray that and, and the person you you know he's just looking at you and just saying look just finish this prayer and let me go lazarus had been there three days and when jesus came he said i know in the resurrection when everything is gone you know i've told you that i've been kept a few times in the mortuary alone to pray for dead bodies and it's an experience that is quite interesting because you will stretch your faith and watch a dead body immovable sometimes already embalmed and you don't know what to do there you end up thinking about your own life in that in that mortuary i mean that's the most profitable thing you can do because the body is if you tell someone stand up from a wheelchair at least he can move his leg it's just that the leg is not strong but you speak to a dead body and you are even afraid of a dead body answering <laughs> are we together if the dead body actually answers remember the door is closed for security reason blessed be God hope deferred financial expectations especially now in Africa and Nigeria my God the way this finance thing is doing people and the kinds of depression depression that someone can just stand by the road and just look at life and take a deep breath go home sit on a chair and die nothing exactly wrong just the reality of life hallelujah so we are beings of results and we are beings of progress and the moment your life listen cannot attain onto certain levels of progress within an appreciable period of time it is true that weariness can set in the first reason hope deferred prolonged expectations the second reason from scripture why weariness sets into the lives and the destinies of people is called sorrow write it down please sorrow sorrow are we together what is sorrow a feeling of deep distress 
a feeling of deep distress that is caused by losses caused by disappointments caused by misfortune a feeling of deep dis deep distress caused by loss could be loss of a loved one could be loss of a job could be disappointment you expected admission like some of you probably you expected the final year result to come out with you completely done and now you are seeing an extra year there sorrow and sorrow has symptoms let me list for you two or three of them number one is sadness you can interpret sorrow by the sadness that is in the heart of a man number two you can interpret sorrow or you can discern sorrow by depression human beings just become depressed they have no inspiration to aspire at life again nothing is ever worth their energy or strength sorrow rise up let's pray again it's no use rise up let's build a company again it's no use rise up as the one who is now left to take care of your siblings it's no use sadness depression downheartedness I have met very discouraged uninspired people in this life and I've been shocked and broken by their approach to life they can be on the road passing and a car is honing and it makes no difference to them whether they die or leave as far as they are concerned they are dead there are people like that an example of such a person was Mephibosheth in the Bible Mephibosheth had to come to terms with the reality of his being crippled and the fact that he would never have the opportunity to make any good out of his life again i hope you understand that in the days of mephibosheth there was no technology to draw inspiration from anybody that guy was left there so when king david sent for him hear his response oh king what do you have to do with a dog when a man calls himself a dog let me tell you one of the characteristics of sorrow is you begin to name yourselves what god did not call you life can push you down to a point where you start calling yourself what god has not called you i am good for nothing you can tell yourself i cannot amount to anything i am the worst in my family you hear people say I am the black sheep no inspiration to aspire for a life that is great people admit defeat and sit back there and then before you know it their lives fold because they do not sustain a superior revelation again there are people who have packed up ministry and just said you know what this ministry thing I quit it's over I've tried there are people who have packed up businesses after failing 10 15 times they just say you know what i've done my best there are people who have given up on their children i'm sorry i can't pay your school fees i can't take care of you do whatever you want to do with your life sorrow is a very serious thing i've had the opportunity to comfort families that have lost loved ones and sometimes no matter what you are saying the mother or the father is just looking at you they want to believe what you are saying they hope one day they will believe it but for that moment they don't are we together yes i think the admission list just came out or so for i think abu or i don't know which of the institutions and there were people who probably didn't get admission in the list that was released and some of them continued i i read some of their text messages and honestly tears were almost coming to my eyes because some of them said apostle 11 years apostle seven years apostle this one this one sorrow is a reason why weariness can eat a man like a cancer and you become a shadow of yourself because you are sorrowful so hope deferred and sorrow are two biblical
biblical causes of the weariness in men no wonder our world today is filled with depressed men medical people will tell you the volumes of drugs that are consumed especially by men do you know why because the inability to be able to provide the inability to be able to be there sometimes can so discourage the man he stands and says well i know i'm good for nothing i know i'm not able to take care of my wife and family and because of that they draw conclusions and like mephibosheth even when the king is calling they say don't call a dog call men i am a dog hallelujah this is very powerful you made me royalty but i choose to serve serve you with my life serve you with my worship you made me to sit at your right hand but i choose to bow bow in worship bow in worship you made me royalty but i choose to serve to serve you with my life to serve you in worship you made me to sit at your right hand but i choose to bow to bow in worship bow in worship there are times that you're reducing yourself is to honor god but there are times that reducing yourself is because life has made you so life has beaten you to a point where you do not see that you can stand again there are times when you are a king but you put your golden crown so that you will worship but there are times it is not worship it is just life that has hit you down there are times you go on your knees because you are worshiping god but there are times you go on your knees because you do not see any hope in life again are you getting what i'm saying now yes you made me royalty but i choose to serve to serve you with my life to serve you in worship you made me to sit at your right Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.